Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the next topic is compensators and the controllers. So generally, these are the last topic in the control systems, and these are the ending part. This is the right. So first, what is the purpose of these compensators and controllers? First, if the system is unstable, generally every system must and should be the stable. If the given system is the unstable. We can manipulate this condition by using the compensators and controllers. So, if if the system is unstable, system is available generally. Generally, a system we have one system A. This is unstable system. So, by using the compensators as well as controllers, so both we can make unstable into the stable system. We can make it by these. That's why these are the very very important controllers and compensators are the very very important. So next, so unstable system we can make into the stable, right? If the system is stable, for example, we have the stable system. Then also we can manipulate and get the desired performance. Generally, here we have one system. So the system is some A, which has we are giving V I, and we will get. So for example, so we I am giving the 5 volts input, I am getting the 10 volts output, but I require the 20 volts output. Then we will get the 20 volts output by using these controllers and compensators. So that's why we can get the desired performance, the required output we will get by these compensators and the controllers. So, third point. Generally, type 2 and higher order systems. So, what is type 2 system? Type 2 system means, for example, the system is like this S square, some S, uh, S, S plus 1 into S plus 2, like this. The system which have how many, if the system consisting of the two poles at the origin, and the system is called a type 2 system. Generally, these type 2 systems are higher order systems are unstable these are gen basically these are the unstable systems why because unstable we will discuss one example these are unstable we can manipulate the system by using the lead compensators get stability and required performance so for these systems we can use a lead compensator so we have different different of compensators in this by using the lead compensator this lead compensator lead compensators and get stability and required performance so this is generally unstable system these unstable system by using the lead compensator we will get stability and as well as a required performance the which type of performance is available that complete performance is we will get here the required performance also we will get here so this is the importance of the controllers and compensators next for stable system by changing the gain k by compensators and controllers compensators and controllers we can get the desired performance so we have the in every system we have the gain k gain dc gain we have always the dc gain so by changing the this dc gain by changing this dc gain and we will get the desired performance the required performance we will get by the changing the gain k okay so we will look one example how the controllers and compensator will affect the system stability we will look at here so is it stable system this is not a stable system why so look at here so g of s is the system this is the k and the system is so we should find out to analyze the any system we should look at the characteristic equation then we will get the stability so here if you observe here this is the s square and this is the s square plus 3s plus 2 okay so by modifying this we will get s power 4 plus 3s cube plus 2s square 2s square okay
okay so this is the g of s but what is the characteristic equation characteristic equation equal to 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 so this is 1 plus this is the g of s k by s power 4 plus 3s cube plus 2s square is equals to 0 so by modifying this we will get the lcm is the this value so by multiplying this we will get s power 4 plus 3s cube plus 2s square plus k is equal to 0 so if you observe here this is the fourth power this is the third power this is the second power but s power 1 term is missing this term is missing so whenever the s order is missing then the system is unstable then the system is generally the unstable system so for the system we will make it to the stable so in order the in order to make the system stability so we should add professional derivative proportional derivative this is the proportional derivative whenever we will add this proportional derivative then unstable system will become the system stable then how it add the proportional derivative so here we have the system is there the, already we have the system g of s is there for this system we will add the proportional derivative proportional derivative is like this this is kp plus kp is the proportional gain and kd is the proportional gain into s if you multiply this you will get the derivative we will get the derivative okay yes and whenever you modify like this whenever you modify like this we will get the some summation point here so from the summation point and this is the you should take the feedback from the output side so here the feedback is like this so we will get the output here c of s and we will get the output input is here r of s feedback is the negative feedback is the negative now you will find out the characteristic equation for the system so you should check is, is it stable or not so the characteristic equation is like this 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 so here 1 plus g of s means the multiplication of these two gains so what we will get here k plus kd s into k by into k by so what is g of s there s square s plus 1 s plus 2 so this is s square into s plus 1 into s plus 2 is equals to 0 so so by simplifying this this is the lcm so so already we, we did this what we will get there what is this value this value you know that that value is s power 4 3s cube plus 2s square so kp plus kd into s plus k by s power 4 3s cube plus 2s square equal to 0 so by doing the LCM this we will get finally s power 4 s power 4 this is the 3s cube this is the 3s cube plus 2s square so kp into k kp into k one thing another one is kds kd into k into s by this thing 3s cube plus 2s square so if you multiply this this will become zero the final characteristic equation is like this so this is the s power 4 and the 3s cube plus 2s square and kd into k is the s and kp into k equal to zero just observe here we have order 4 is there and order 3 is there and order 2 here order 1 and the order 0 is there so there is no missing of the s term 
whenever there is no missing of the s term automatically the system is stable the system is stable so observe here just just look at here directly the system is unstable here but by adding this by adding this proportional derivative proportional means kp is the proportional constant kd is the derivative constant so i will write here kp is constant proportional constant and kd is the derivative derivative gain or derivative constant yes and whenever you if you if you multiply with the s that is the derivative constant if you if you uh, divide with s it will become the integral constant so by adding this then the unstable system will become the stable system so that's why the importance of the it, this example will give the importance of the controllers and the compensators controllers and the compensators so this is about the this is about the controllers and compensators introduction i hope all of you understand this session thank you